In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create stunning videos using AI, even if you've never picked up a camera before. With just a few powerful tools, creating professional videos is now within anyone's reach. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through everything from ideation, scripting, voiceover creation, creating IA visuals, and video editing. By the end of this, you will have all the tools you need to make engaging videos without any prior experience. Let's kick it off with vidIQ, a tool that not only helps you find trending topics, but helps tailor those ideas to the niche of your specific channel. VidIQ's Remix tool is a game changer. It helps you to find topics that are outperforming in your niche. Okay, so here we have one that's doing really well. He's getting 49 views per hour and it has a 10X outlier score compared to his channel. So let's look at remixing this. Let's look, let's regenerate again so you can refresh and see what other ideas it comes up with. So here we are, make your AI video content pop with these three pro tips. So this is now where it's given me a title, unlock your full potential of AI video content creation with these expert tips. And then you've got your tags here as well, showing you how well they're gonna do in terms of search volume and competition scores. So this score here is based on how much search volume there is and how much competition there is for those tags. And it's relevant obviously to how much authority your channel has. So you can see here is it's creating thumbnails for me as well. VidIQ already has my image is able to create thumbnails based on my image. So you can look at these just as an idea. It's got my image here and best practices. This is quite good. And you can open this up if you want and change this to whatever you want it to have. Pro tips, something like that. You can do arrows like this, which is pretty cool. Not that it needs an arrow because it's already got the finger pointing at it. I mean, this saves you going into Canva. So the hook here, I'm diving into these pro secrets to see if I could take my AI level videos to the next level. Let's see if they work. You can come down here, click create script, and this is all in vid IQ. So you can see here, it's giving me a script and it goes through the whole script there. And there's even an option down here to create a voiceover as well. Here's the voiceover. I'm diving into these pro secrets to see if I can boost my AI video content and take it to the next level. Let's see if they really work. So we can favorite this idea and that potentially we can use that idea later. VidIQ's remix tool goes beyond just finding those trending topics in your niche. It helps you to remix those ideas, helping you to create the title, the description, the tags, and the thumbnails. And you can even create those thumbnails with your own image by uploading an image and it will regenerate images of you in thumbnails. If you'd like to try it out, I have an affiliate link in the description below. You're welcome to click on that and try it for yourself. Once you have an idea, the next step is scripting. And vidIQ can help you with that as well, just by clicking the script button. But if the scripting that vidIQ has done for you isn't exactly what you want it to be, you can take that into a tool like ChatGPT or Gemini, and then have a conversation around that copy and pasted script that vidIQ has come up with and adjust it to how you want it to be. The other thing you can do obviously is you can take it into a Word document and just adjust it how you want it to be. So let's take the script, you can see the script here, there's a button here you can click and you copy that to the clipboard and you can take that into ChatGPT, open up a new window in ChatGPT here. And now ChatGPT is actually just given me one refined because it knows how I talk because I chat with it quite a lot in different conversations and it's now put it into my own tone of voice. Moving on to voiceovers, 11 Labs can not only create voices to do the voiceover for the video, but it can also clone your own voice. And it can also create sound effects. And I'm opening it up on my screen. I already have a subscription to 11 Labs. So we'll paste that in there again. Down the bottom here, we've got my voice. This is the free version of my voice, Barnabas voice. Let's just click generate and see how it sounds. This tool makes voiceovers simple and personal whether you want to add character or consistency to your videos. So you can see that's similar to my voice, not exactly like it, but it's the free cloned version. You can actually go into having a paid professional version of your cloned voice, but then you can also choose really nice other voices as well. Let's choose this Adam Stone, for instance. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So you can listen to different voices here. Hey there, do you want a realistic voice that you can use for any situation? Then... 
And then you've got loads of different ones here. Movie, there was a movie trailer voice there. In a world where AI voices sound like robots, one man makes it sound epic. Yeah, so that's the voiceovers in 11 labs. And then or you can go into sound effects here on the top left. You click on the sound effects. And in this point here, imagine, for instance, you want something like cinematic explosion. Cinematic explosion. And you can choose in settings if you want how long you want it to be. Or you can do automatically pick the best length and more creative or follow prompt. Let's uh, give it lots of creativity here, see what it does. 20% and generate sound effects. Let's see what we've got. Generation one, generation two. Ooh. This AI tool makes voiceovers simple and personal, whether you want to use one of the already created voices or you want to use your own cloned voice. For visuals, let's use text to video. So I'll bring you into Kling AI here, text to video, and let's create something really interesting. A futuristic cafe in the year 2050. And we've got Kling 1.5 here, text to video, We've got 16 by nine ratio, and we can ask it to just create subtle, subtle motion generate. So I'm gonna leave that one to generate, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, cool, so here's our video from Kling. Next, we're gonna to go to Suno AI, which will help you to create custom music to elevate the mood in your video and you can use 11 labs for the sound effects. With the right background music, you'll create an immersive experience that will hold your viewers' attention. Be careful to make sure that this music isn't too loud, because if it is too loud, then it could be distracting from what's being said as well. So you have to get that right balance. I'm gonna open up Suna AI. I have an account for Suna AI. It's very valuable to have an account for Suna AI. And you can come into here and you can choose just instrumental. If you don't choose instrumental, then you're going to need you're going to make a song with lyrics. If you choose instrumental, you can just make a music song. So let's put like a classical cinematic music. Of course, you can use ChatGPT to help you refine your prompt. You only have 120 characters that you can use for the prompt in Sooner AI, so you have to keep it short. So what's the title going to be? I'm going to call it cinematic or create. So you can see it's now creating it. Soon AI is very quick at creating the music and there's loads of music I've created in the past and when you have an account with them, you can use the music commercially as well. So this is the first one. Let's try the second one. So I really like this. I'm going to download this one. And you can download MP3 or you can download Waves. Finally, it's time to put everything together in CapCut. This tool makes it easy to put everything together, both for beginners and for pros. If you wanna try CapCut, I have a seven day free pro offer in the affiliate link below this video. You can have CapCut on your phone. I edited a lot of videos on my phone using CapCut, but I prefer to use a, my laptop, but you can do both. It's just as good on the phone, except the only difference is on the laptop, you have a bigger screen. So this is a really simple edit that I opened, that I did just before this video. We've got the main video on the timeline here. I've chopped out a couple of pieces where I ummed and erred or took a little bit too long. And then I did a th an effect here where I took away the background and all I did is I copied the video. I'll show you with this section here. So this bit here, you can see we've got the original video at the bottom with the sound muted. 
we've got a copy of the video here with the normal volume on a copy of the video from below and then here we've got these arrows that you can see and we've also got these two pictures here if i click on these pictures to make them disappear you'll see the background come through from the video below and if i take away the video below now you can see the video above is just me with those arrows behind i can click those arrows to disappear as well v is the shortcut that helps assets to disappear off the timeline and now in this video all i've done is i've gone background remove here and if i turn background remove off you can see that's the original video again but with background remove on that's what it looks like and then if i turn the bottom video back on again that's just there to help keep the time in the timeline and then you can bring these pictures in here and these little arrows that are here are basically stickers that you can find up here in the sticker section you've got things like, like arrows this is the one I used, but you can type in anything you want. You can put in smile and you'll get like a smiley face emoji. And then you can click and bring that onto your timeline as well. So this is a smiley face emoji. You click on that sticker, you can resize it here on the screen, or you can go over here to scale and resize it. You can move it around, put it over here, put it wherever you want it to go. Just delete that from the timeline and so in CapCut you can just cut your video together here by chopping it how you want it to be chopped once you're finished and you like how it looks you can come up to export up here and then you give it a title and then you choose you have video you have the settings 1080 etc and then you click export you can choose where you want to export it to and then you upload it to YouTube and there you have it. With these tools, you can create amazing videos without any experience. If you're ready to dive in, check out the links for CapCut and VidIQ in the description below and start creating. Let me know what you've been making. Tell me about your videos in the comments below this video. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy this next video that I have on AI tools and tips.